Hello and welcome to my channel, where I explore the amazing stories of human history. Today I'm going to talk about the emergence of early civilizations, such as Sumer, and the migration of Homo erectus from Africa. How did these events shape the course of human history? Let's find out. The story of early civilizations begins with the story of Homo erectus, the first human species to migrate out of Africa. Homo erectus evolved in Africa about 1.8 million years ago, and had a larger brain, smaller teeth, and a more upright posture than their ancestors. They also developed the ability to use fire, make stone tools, and communicate with simple sounds and gestures. Homo erectus began to spread across the world about 1.5 million years ago, following the availability of food and resources. They reached Asia, Europe, and possibly Australia, and adapted to different climates and environments. They also encountered an interbred with other human species, such as Homo habilis and Homo ergaster, who eventually went extinct. Homo erectus was the longest-lived human species, surviving for about 1.3 million years. They were the ancestors of both Neanderthals and modern humans, who evolved from separate branches of Homo erectus in different regions. But why did Homo erectus leave Africa in the first place? And how did they manage to survive in such diverse and challenging conditions? These are some of the questions that scientists have been trying to answer for decades, using various methods and sources of evidence, such as fossils, DNA, and tools. One of the main hypotheses is that Homo erectus migrated out of Africa because of environmental changes, such as climate fluctuations, volcanic eruptions, and tectonic movements that affected the availability of food and water. Another hypothesis is that Homo erectus migrated out of Africa because of social and cultural factors such as population growth, competition, and curiosity that motivated them to explore new territories and resources. One of the main challenges that Homo erectus faced was how to adapt to different habitats and climates, ranging from tropical forests to deserts, from savannas to mountains, from temperate zones to polar regions. To cope with these challenges, Homo erectus developed various strategies and skills such as controlling fire, making clothing, building shelters, hunting and gathering, and cooperating and sharing. One of the main achievements that Homo erectus accomplished was how to create and use tools, which gave them an advantage over other animals and humans. Homo erectus invented the first standardized and mass-produced stone tools, known as the Aculean industry, which consisted of hand axes, cleavers, scrapers, and other tools that were used for cutting, chopping, digging, and scraping. Homo erectus also used other materials, such as wood, bone, and antler, to make tools, such as spears, harpoons, and needles. The migration of Homo erectus and the emergence of early civilizations were two of the most important events in human history. They showed the remarkable ability of humans to adapt, innovate, and cooperate, as well as to compete, conflict, and conquer. They also laid the foundations for the development of more complex and diverse civilizations, cultures, and societies that followed. The emergence of early civilizations occurred much later, about 10,000 years ago in just a few specific areas of the world that historians have labeled the cradles of civilization. In these locations, today's Mexico, Peru, China, India, Pakistan, Iraq, and Egypt, the introduction of agriculture allowed larger populations to settle in one place and the ability to produce and distribute surpluses of food enabled some people to specialize in such tasks as manufacturing handicrafts, tending to the spiritual world, and governing. One of the earliest and most influential civilizations was Sumer, which arose in the southern part of Mesopotamia, the land between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, in present-day Iraq. Sumer was not a unified state, but a collection of independent city-states, such as Ur, Uruk, and Eridu that shared a common culture, language, and religion. Sumerians developed many innovations that shaped the course of human history, such as writing, mathematics, astronomy, law, and literature. They also built impressive structures such as temples, palaces, and irrigation systems. They traded with other civilizations, such as Egypt and India, and influenced their cultures and technologies. Sumerians also faced many challenges and conflicts, such as floods, droughts, invasions, and wars. Sumer was eventually conquered by other peoples, such as the Akkadians, the Babylonians, and the Assyrians, who adopted and modified many aspects of Sumerian civilization. But how did Sumer emerge as the first civilization in the world, 
and what made it so successful and influential for thousands of years? These are some of the questions that historians have been trying to answer for centuries, using various methods and sources of evidence, such as archaeology, linguistics, and art. One of the main factors that contributed to the emergence of Sumer was the geography of Mesopotamia, which offered both opportunities and challenges for human settlement. The fertile soil and abundant water of the river valleys provided ideal conditions for agriculture, while the flat and open terrain facilitated trade and communication. However, the unpredictable and destructive floods of the rivers also posed a constant threat to the crops and the people, while the lack of natural barriers exposed the region to invasions and raids. One of the main features that characterized Sumer was the development of urbanization, which involved the growth and organization of cities and their surrounding areas. The first cities in Sumer emerged around 4000 BCE and were based on the cultivation of wheat and barley, the domestication of sheep and goats, and the production of pottery and textiles. The cities were also centers of religious, political, and economic activity, where temples, palaces, and markets were built and maintained. One of the main achievements that distinguished Sumer was the invention of writing, which revolutionized the transmission and preservation of information and knowledge. The first writing system in Sumer was based on pictographs, or symbols that represented objects or concepts that were inscribed on clay tablets using a stylus. The writing system evolved over time to include phonetic signs, or symbols that represented sounds, and grammatical signs, or symbols that indicated the function and relation of words. The writing system was also adapted by other peoples, such as the Akkadians, the Babylonians, and the Assyrians, to write their own languages. The migration of Homo erectus and the emergence of early civilizations were two of the most important events in human history. They showed the remarkable ability of humans to adapt, innovate, and cooperate, as well as to compete, conflict, and conquer. They also laid the foundations for the development of more complex and diverse civilizations, cultures, and societies that followed. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned something new and interesting. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on human history. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Do you have any questions, thoughts, or theories about the migration of Homo erectus and the emergence of early civilizations? I would love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.